And it's a viral challenge on TikTok that's making its way to San Antonio. It's called the Door Kick Challenge, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Kids are trying to kick in strangers' front doors, then run away. This is raising major concerns among neighbors who believe if this continues, someone will get seriously hurt. In surveillance video shared with Ken's Five, these kids are kicking the door so hard they are breaking the door frame. One woman we spoke with in Leon Valley said her home was targeted four times. The most recent occurrence was just two weeks ago when the teenager snapped her door frame, leaving a huge footprint on her door. I was right there in the living room and I, that's when I literally thought they were coming in the door. Can I get to the kitchen quick enough for a knife or do I just reach over and get the gun? Yeah, she's over it. She's moving out. Police across the nation are calling the trend, quote, dumb and quote, dangerous police in Minnesota sharing helpful advice for all parents. So listen up. They are encouraging them to talk to their children about the potential consequences of this challenge. They also suggest monitoring your child's social media to deter activity and report any incidents to police. Yeah, if that woman would have just reached over and, and grabbed that gun and used it, you know, I, I think it would have been an ugly situation, but, um, I wanted to talk about this, uh, this, I guess, kick the door challenge. Uh, it was something that I've heard about, uh, but never really paid much attention to. Um, and I guess it's been a thing for a while now where people are recording themselves uh, on social media, uh, kicking in or kicking on people's doors. Um, this, this challenge or prank, I mean, there's nothing funny about it. And uh, it, it's caused a significant amount of concern because, you know, it has led to property damage. And, um, and, and I think it's something that can escalate into a, uh, a dangerous, you know, confrontation. Uh, because it's only a matter of time before somebody gets hurt. Either the homeowner or the person that's doing the challenge, they, they'll get hurt. And I think more than likely it'll be the ones who are doing this challenge uh, that will end up getting hurt or worse. And I, I say that because... Right here in the United States, a lot of people have firearms in their homes, and that's just a reality. I mean, imagine sitting in your home, watching TV, or, or cooking dinner, or, or playing with your kids, or whatever it is that you're doing, and then your door's kicked in. What are you going to think? And, and I'm sure we can all agree that our first thought is that somebody's breaking into our home. Uh, because another reality is that people do break into homes while homeowners are there, and home invasions are real. So at that point, you're not thinking that it could be a prank or some teenagers on the other side. I, I don't think anybody is thinking that. You're going to perceive that as a, a break-in attempt and, and a threat and potentially respond with aggression and even a weapon like a firearm, which uh, could result in serious harm or death. And, and when something happens to one of these kids, then what we don't want to see or hear are the parents of these children all on the news and in the courtrooms crying about how the homeowner uh, didn't have to do what they did to their child because nobody knows who's on the other side of that door and, and, and you don't know uh, what somebody's intentions are, um, you know, when they're on your property on, on a place where they're not supposed to be. Um, all you know is that somebody kicked in the door to a place that is supposed to be uh, your sanctuary and, and a place of retreat from the outside world uh, where you're supposed to be safe, uh, where you can recharge and, and, and rejuvenate. Um, but I think this stupid challenge is, is something that needs to stop. Um, but, you know, I think also as parents, they need to really stress the importance of respecting the property of others uh, to their children because, I mean, guess who's going to be on the hook for paying to get those doors fixed? And doors can be expensive uh, to replace and fix. You know, I was at uh, Lowe's the other day and saw some people buying doors, and um, and I and I can bet that none of these kids they have they don't have the money to fix them. So the parents they're going to be the ones on the hook for getting that stuff fixed. Uh, but look, you know, it, it's it's all fun and games until somebody ends up taking a dirt nap because of some stupid prank. So yeah. Teach the kids the importance of respecting the property of others and then also teach them the dangers that come along with with doing something as foolish and, and reckless as this challenge. Because, 
you got to remember they're on somebody else's property when they don't have any official business or any official purpose for being there. Uh, that's the first violation. And then the next one is that they damaged somebody else's property while they were on, uh, you know, that property where they weren't supposed to be in the first place. Um, so when something happens to them, you, you really can't feel sorry for them. So y'all take care, stay safe, stay out of trouble and just make better choices. Peace y'all.